Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Relevance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrochemistry. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic in electrochemistry. That is nothing but electrochemical series. Okay, the series of uh, metals based on their uh, standard reduction potential values, the IUPAC they are arranged in uh, like uh, a series, like from more negative values to high negative, high positive value, more negative to more positive through the zero okay so the list of compounds i'll give the 51 uh, srp values of uh, particular metals 51 metals I'll, i would like to give in here so those 51 uh, which is collected from the very uh, familiar and uh, famous textbook of physical chemistry okay now here these are the 51 values so up to here uh, hydrogen gas yes, this is the one series uh, due to the inconvenience of the board uh, i would like to write the uh, two lines okay so it is a single line so now here up to zero so that means here so these all are the negative srp values these all are the positive srp values okay now here uh, hydrogen which is uh, taken as a reference compound that is called standard hydrogen electrode standard hydrogen electrode so this is the standard hydrogen electrode so this is called an electrochemical series the series of metal and their uh, based on their reduction potential values srp values it is arranged in a series so this is called electrochemical series electrochemical series now so before going to the detailed analysis now a few points discussed over here so those points are very uh, important applications regarding to the our uh, like uh, electrochemical series electrochemical series now based on the electrochemical series we have discussed a very very important five points now let us start the first point okay so first point which is anode and which is cathode if they are given in the question uh, the competitive exams they are given in a two uh, metals in the in a, in a in a series so among those which is anode and which is cathode without knowing the concept of anode and cathode we don't know whether it is oxidation takes place or uh, where it is uh, or reduction takes place okay so based on the like anode and uh, cathode uh, notations we are observed uh, here it is oxidation reaction here it is the like a uh, reduction reaction okay first of all we are aware about uh, which is anode and which is cathode okay now here it is an electrochemical series which is in uh, salt bridge here it is an electrode so here these two are connected to a, a digital potentiometer digital voltmeter okay simply uh, this digital voltmeter will uh, will gives the emf value emf value of the, these two electrodes so but uh, we don't know the these two values let us assume we don't know the these two srp values so we cannot predict the like uh, we we are uh, aware about emf values but uh, we cannot predict these two values exactly so that's why we required on standard compound that is a standard hydrogen electrode so let us assume here SHE standard hydrogen electrode placed at the right side then the value then another electrode is called as anode another electrode is called as anode so anode means here loss of electrons takes place loss of electrons so in case of loss of electron that is in leads to the oxidation reaction which reaction oxidation reaction so loss of electrons and oxidation will use the metal contains a negatively charged species that is a negative srp value so due to this like a electrolytic pressure solution uh, effect uh, here it, it forms the negative srp values okay so negative srp values is nothing but anodic values whenever standard hydrogen electrodes are used so these values which are act as anode in case of standard hydrogen electrodes in similarly now the second point so now the same uh, these type of electrodes so which is a salt bridge electrode electrode these two are connected to a digital potentiometer now let us assume the left side is a standard hydrogen electrode right side is a, like we don't know okay so here if it is a, left side is a standard hydrogen electrode right side uh, automatically it is cathode okay so cathode means uh, why it is cathode here the gaining of electrons takes place gaining of electrons that's why it is cathode so gaining of electrons will leads to the like a reduction reaction so that reduction which leads to the positive srp values positive srp values so now the table which is below uh, below hydrogen values are positive values those positive values uh, uh, those positive values containing metals act as cathode in presence of standard hydrogen electrode in presence of standard hydrogen electrode 
Okay. Now, negative values act as the anode imprints of a standard hydrogen electrode. Positives act as cathode. Okay. So now, however, they are given in the two negative values. That time we are confused. Okay. So in case of two negative values or in case of two positive values, which is anode, which is cathode, we don't know. Okay. So simply, top to bottom, the electron releasing tendency, that means the electron losing tendency decreases. Okay. Now, let us assume here the, like, let us assume here magnesium and zinc is there. Magnesium plus 2 and zinc plus 2, uh, which can convert into corresponding metals. Okay. Now, the magnesium value. So, now here, magnesium, sorry. Magnesium value minus 2.37. Uh, zinc value, that is minus 0 0.76. Okay. So, among these two, magnesium having the higher tendency to lose their electrons. That means, uh, here it acts as more losing electron character. So, these electrodes act as more losing of electrons will, le will lead to the, will act to the anode. Okay. Now, here, it acts as anode. So, this is act as cathode. So, in case of two negative electrodes, above one is anode according to the our series. Okay. So, simple thing. So, if one is anode, that is simply, it is above one is anode. Above anode. A for A. A, A. That is above anode. Okay. Now, in case of two positive values, two positive values. So, let us assume here it is like iodine and chlorine. So, iodine value is 0 0.54. Okay. So, now, iodine value is 0 0.54. Now, it is a positive value. Chlorine value is 1.36. These two are the positive. So, among these two, top to bottom, electron losing character decreases. So, that's why, so, iodine having the more electron losing character and chlorine having the more electron accepting character. Which character? More electron accepting character. So, due to that, you know, electron accepting character of chlorine, which is, uh, uh, which is nothing but a cathode. So, accepting the electron is nothing but a cathode. So, this is the anode. This is the anode. Okay. So this is the first point. This is the second point. So this is the third point. Let us summarize these three points in a single point. Okay. So it is a series like a minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. It is a series. Okay. So the series of compound, let us assume here um, manganese is minus 0 0.9. So let us take the manganese and uh, like a uh, uh, bromine. So, these are the values. So, these two are the electrodes. Let us assume the magnesium and bromine. Okay. So, among these two, these two are arranged in a series like this. So, the more negative, negative, zero, less negative, less positive, more positive, like a series. Okay. So, more negative to more positive. Let us assume, the, let us uh, arrange the series like this. So, the above one is anode, below one is cathode. Simply. Okay. Let us arrange the series like this. So, the above one is always anode, the bottom one is always cathode. So, if you know the one concept, that is enough for that, okay. Above one is anode, that indicates bottom one is definitely it is cathode, okay. So, above one is anode for the first point, okay. Now, let us go through the another points. Okay. Now the second character is uh, that is nothing but a uh, uh, like a reactivity. Simply it is activity. Now the second factor that is active reactivity. Simply it is nothing but a reactivity. Okay. So among the following, among the uh, these fifty one metals, these fifty one metal electrodes, uh, so which is readily reacted, which is readily reacted. So now according to our previous discussion, so this is more negative SRP values uh, readily lose their electrons. Uh, now top to bottom, the character, the tendency to lose their electrons is decreases. Okay, we know that. Okay. So top to bottom, the tendency to lose their electrons decreases. That indicates top to bottom reactivity order decreases. Definitely top to bottom reactivity order decreases. Then uh, top of the metals that act as uh, active metals. So bottom of the metals act as moderate active metals. So uh, very bottom of the metal that is positive, highly positive values uh, containing uh, electrodes. Those are act as uh, like a uh, lower activity. So simply lowest activity metal. Now the reactivity which is a which is classified into three types: higher activity, highly active, moderate. Now the final one is low activity. So simply it is lowest activity, lowest activity. So higher active that is alkali and alkali earth metals, alkali and 
alkali earth metals so simply it is a negative srp values negative SR, high negative srp values now here it is a, uh, like moderate values like uh, uh, iron nickel cobalt like a uh, uh, chromium, zinc, these type of lead, these type of etc. metals. Okay, these type of metals, those are act as a, like a moderate values, moderate SRP, moderate SRP values. Now, the final one is the lowest. So, here it cannot lose their electrons, that means almost all it is an inert reaction. So, that's why those metals are called as also noble metals. So, simply here it is like a, a copper, silver, gold, like a copper, silver, gold. These are the lowest lowest that means uh, high srp high srp based on the negativity now we have discussed the more negative srp mo moderate negative srp so highest that means low negative srp that is nothing but highest positive simply it is a high srp values are low reactive high srp values are no uh, low reactive so here more negative srp so it is moderate high srp values okay so now uh, let us uh, summarize these three things uh, let us classify these three things now the highly reactive metal so this is uh, let us uh, assume here the metal is m so highly reactive metal will treat it with water will produces the hydrogen gas with the diluted water also it produces the uh, like a uh, hydrogen gas but here this moderate metal cannot uh, evolve the hydrogen gas in case of uh, like a uh, uh, diluted water. So simply it is uh, uh, very uh, very like cold water. But here it treated with steam water. It it evolves the hydrogen gas. But third one. So here whatever the water, whatever the condition of water, whatever the uh, like a uh, strength of water. So we used here water cannot produce the cannot evolve the hydrogen gas cannot evolve the hydrogen gas so these are the three different uh, different reactivity of uh, uh, these of the like uh, uh, electrochemical series metals the first one is highly reactive moderately reactive lowest reactive lowest reactive now the third one is electro positive character electro positive character third one is electro positive character so these electro positive character which is similar to the our reactivity okay top to bottom reactivity decreases based on that uh, more negativity more negative srp values decreases from top to bottom that's why the losing of electrons decreases from top to bottom so that's why reactivity decreases in similarly electro positive character also decreases electro positive character also decreases so top, due to the uh, like losing of electrons decreases from top to bottom so here electro positive character also decreases now so among the uh, like uh, among the series here it is also classified three types so highly uh, high electro positive character so moderate as electro positive moderate electro positive low electro positive metals low electro positive metals so high electro positive metals that means uh, uh, that is nearer to the minus 2.0 srp values okay nearer to the minus 2.0 so now moderate that is 0 to uh, sorry minus 2.0 to 0 minus 2.0 to 0 srp values here low electro positive that means uh, uh, like a positive srp values positive srp values that is nothing but non metals okay now in previous case here it is highly reactive is metals uh, lowest reactive is non metals and uh, in uh, like uh, inert metals non metals as well as inert metals so that is the like reactivity as well as electro positive character of metals okay now let us discuss the another thing that is a displacement so many of the competitive examples they are asking about uh, like a, uh, a zinc metal can displace the copper or not or copper metal can displace the zinc or not such type of questions asked in each and every exams uh, as well as uh, interview like a phd interview one uh, one of the my like a phd interview they are asked about uh, like if zinc metal can displace the uh, like uh, copper or not one of my friends shared uh, in electrochemistry they are uh, very interested to join the electrochemistry phd so uh, they are uh, shared with uh, he, uh, his interview experience so they are asking about uh, like uh, if zinc metal can displace the copper or copper metal can displace the zinc so that is the major difference now let us discuss the third one okay now the displacement character so that is the simplest uh, displacement character is nothing but uh, so here metal can displace the another metal in its solution or a non metal can displace the another non metal in its corresponding solution okay so let us discuss the metal displaces whether it is a metal to predict the metal whether it is displaces the another metal in its solution displaces another metal 
another metal so simply so top of the top of this is the metal having the more negative srp values so the more negative srp values indicates here the like uh, the tendency to lose their electrons is more so that means uh, the tendency to lose their electrons is more than its uh, its uh, conversion of uh, uh, its ions is more okay metal can converts into corresponding ions is more more tendency okay so that means an electrolytic solution pressure effect which are already discussed in our previous videos okay so top to bottom so the metal can converts into corresponding cation character decreases okay if a, a metal can converts into corresponding ions so those uh, if, to the releasing of electrons those electrons can gain up of a, a particular solution which is easily displaces that means uh, top of the metal which displaces the bottom metal so simply top of the metal means uh, whether it is high srp value or low srp value definitely it is low low srp value okay so low srp value metal with low srp metal with low srp which easily displaces which uh, easily displaces which displaces the metal with uh, high srp value i srp value okay simply a zinc metal and uh, like a chromium metal or copper metal okay a zinc and copper metals uh, let us assume the zinc and copper metal that is a daniel cell so zinc is can uh, zinc is easily displaces the copper but copper cannot copper cannot that is the metallic character now the b is non metal displacement non metal displacement here non metal means here almost all non metals having the positive srp values so now we are discussed the, the bottom of the hydro, standard hydrogen electron okay so in case of non metal character top to bottom electron losing character increases uh, sorry decreases but electron accepting character decrease, increases but electron accepting character increases so the bottom part bottom part of the non metal which having the more tendency to accept the electrons the more tendency to accept the electrons so that's why here uh, the bottom part of the electrons it it obstruct the electrons towards itself the gaining of electrons towards itself uh, uh, from the its solution so which easily displaces the above non metal above non metals that means uh, so the bottom one having the higher srp values so the above one having the lower srp values here higher srp non metals will easily displaces will easily displaces lower srp of non metals lower srp non metals okay so this is the a simple point this is a very simple point regarding to the displacement so in case of metals so lower srp metals will displace as the higher so in case of non metals higher srp non metals will displace as the like a lower srp non metals so let us assume so here chlorine can easily displace as the bromides and iodine bromides and iodines in corresponding its bromide solution on the, its iodide solution its iodide solution this is the simplest thing regarding to the displacement of the reaction now let us go through the final final two things that is the reducing and oxidizing property now the four four applications are over now the fifth one uh, fifth characteristic that application so now that is a reducing power reducing power okay so top to bottom electron losing character decreases okay we are repeated this tangent i think it is fourth time or fifth time in in this session okay so top to bottom electron losing character decreases that means uh, so anodic character decreases so anodic character that means here oxidize okay so oxidation takes place uh, particularly itself it reduces and it's uh, oxidized to others in that manner so top of the molecule will having the like a more negative srp so more more negative srp will act as will act as a strong reducing agent strong reducing agent okay more negative is a strong reducing agent so the more positive is strong oxidizing agent okay so top to bottom reducing character decreases top to bottom reducing the character decreases reducing character decreases in similarly so the oxidizing power so simply oxidizing power 
Okay. So in case of oxidizing power, quite opposite to the reduction. Top to bottom reduction character, reducing power decreases. That indicates that oxidizing power absolutely increases. Okay. So top to bottom, top to bottom, oxidizing power, oxidizing power in the series increases in the series increases so based on these two points the more negative values which is nothing but a strong reducing agent more positive srp values which is a strong oxidizing agent okay so many of the questions many of the competitive exams they are asking about questions based on these concepts only okay so they are given in the like x y z type of compounds so x having minus 2.09 y having the like minus 1.36 so here it is the positive 0 0.74 or 34 let us assume so among these three compounds which have which uh, arrange the these three compounds in uh, their uh, reducing character so which is higher reducing higher to lower so simply x having they are given in these type of option x y z so greater than or x y x y z less than uh, like a uh, x z y so similarly x z y it's less than okay so the according to our uh, our knowledge so more negative is more reducing character they are asking about a uh, reducing character that is a uh, descending order from higher to low okay now here more negative is more reducing character based on that uh, now next negative next most negative is uh, like a second reducing character third is positive it is the least okay so now x greater than y greater than z so this is the reducing character this is the reducing character so based on that uh, we are uh, predict whether here which is the strong reducing agent or which is a uh, weak reducing agent or which is a strong oxidizing agent uh, which is a uh, uh, weak oxidizing agent okay so many of the questions they are asking about uh, these two particular formulas only. okay now let us summarize all those things in a single point okay now we are discussing the six points that is the first one is a, a negative one a, a anode and cathode so above one is anode that's enough first point now the second point is a, like a, it's a reactivity so top to bottom reactivity decreases based on the uh, more negative to uh, more positive okay reactivity decreases similarly electropositive character also top to bottom decreases now the fourth point displacement lowest low srp uh, metal can displace the high srp metals so high srp non metal can displace the low S low uh, srp non metals so that is the displacement fourth one the fifth one top to bottom reducing character decreases the sixth one top to bottom oxidizing character increases oxidizing character increases so one of the previous year question they are asking about a uh, uh, previous year question f2 chlorine bromine iodine okay so among the four which one having the more oxidizing power more oxidizing power this is previous year csa question okay so these type of questions uh, they are uh, all screen uh, uh, csar in two marker question very very important that is basic point uh, so basic on uh, section b is regarding to the basic corner so that's why they are asking about these type of questions which is uh, the strength of question is iit je mains level only not the like csar but they are asked about a very basic level okay so uh, before going to the solution of these these type of questions first of all what should need what we need to solve these type of questions the first of all so here I will give the 51 compounds in a like a, their uh, separate values. So now let us summarize all those values based on their groups and periods. Okay. Now here we have the F2, Cl2, Br2, Iodine2. Okay. So now let us F2 value and Cl2 value, Br2 value, Iodine value. Okay. So if F2 value is 2.57, approximately 2.87. So now the Cl value is 1.36. Now the Bromine value is 1.09. Iodine value is 0.54. Okay, so the more positive value, so top to bottom, so top to bottom oxidizing power increases, top to bottom oxidizing power increases, okay, so top to bottom oxidizing power increases, that indicates uh, so the fluorine having the more oxidizing power when compared to the chlorine, chlorine having the more oxidizing power when compared to the bromine and similar to the iodine, okay, so that based on the SRP values, here it is the oxidizing power, here it is the oxidizing power, okay, so before the like before attempting the questions you should make the these type of points based on the any type of uh, these type of cells okay now let us uh, so <laughs> you should uh, summarize the, uh, these values first year group elements so i did not given the any hints regarding to the like first year group elements and the third one is like a second year group elements 
when we should they make these type of uh, important points in our notebook so those points will remembered uh, like every time so we will uh, gain the marks in CSAR as well as a basic uh, basic uh, competitive exams very easier okay so that's why you should make the these type of simple trick based on the above series okay that's all for this video I think it is very helpful for each and every lower level lower level competitor to higher level competitor that is JE means to uh, CSAR net and get uh, aspirants okay I think uh, thank you so much for watching